Hi, I'm Chris Harrison. Advances in electronics have allowed mobile devices to become very small. So much so, they could benefit greatly from having extra surface area available for interaction. However, we don't want to carry around extra surfaces, especially for input. In my research, I think about clever ways to appropriate surfaces that are already around us, like tables and walls. In this video, I'm going to talk about SkinFoot, a bioacoustic sensing technology that allows our body to be used as a large finger input surface, which doesn't require any electronics to be placed on the skin. When a finger taps the skin, the impact creates an ensemble of useful acoustic signals. When slowed down 14 times, we can see transverse waves on the skin's surface. However, complex longitudinal waveforms also propagate through the body. To capture these signals, we developed a special purpose bioacoustic sensing array. Variations in bone density, size and mass, as well as filtering effects from soft tissues and joints, mean different locations are acoustically distinct. Software we developed listens for impacts and classifies them. Different interactive capabilities can be bound to different locations. Here we see a user playing a game of Tetris using their fingers as a control pad. In our prototype system, we chose to focus on input for the arms and hands and developed an armband for sensing. In our user study, we evaluated several input location sets which demonstrated our approach could achieve accuracies as high as 95.5% for five locations, a sufficient number of buttons for many mobile interactions. Segmenting purposeful input from false positives is robust and remains functional while walking and jogging. Many uses are possible. Consider, for example, an audio player strapped to the arm which could be controlled by taps to one's fingers. It is also possible to incorporate a Pico projector into the armband already situated on the upper arm. This allows for not only sensing, but also projection of a dynamic graphical interface. Here, the system renders a series of buttons on the wearer's forearm. Users can simply click the desired function with their finger. This interface is hierarchical, allowing the user to access a wide range of potential functionality. As you can see, Finger inputs are segmented and classified in real time. Alternatively, we developed a scrolling-based interface. Here, the user taps on the top or bottom of their forearm to slide the selection up or down one item respectively. The selected item can be activated by tapping on the center of the forearm. To go backwards in the interface hierarchy, users can simply perform a pinching gesture with their thumb and forefinger.